reunited once more, but not for long. It's a tearful, emotional moment as the mothers of three Americans jailed for allegedly spying and entering Iran illegally come into contact for the first time in 10 months. They have not been released, but for the families, it's a breakthrough. The three, Sarah Shroud, Shane Bauer, and Josh Fatal, have always protested their innocence and say that they have been treated well by their captors. Shane and Josh are in the room together, but I'm alone, and that's the most difficult thing for me. But I see them twice a day, so the, we have good food and we have um, medical care, which is appreciated. And we have reading materials and television. Decent um, relationship with the guards. It's been civil. Yeah, I'm really grateful when once you start getting books that really. Uh, prison experience a lot. Yeah. For one mother, Nora Shroud, an impassioned plea to try and get the tree of freedom. Who would want to be a mother with a child in prison like this? No one. She also showed some sympathy for Iranians imprisoned in America. We know, and you know, we really feel very sympathetic for any Iranian prisoners that are being kept in the United States. Uh, we talk about this constantly. But again, we, we're not politicians. We don't have the power to change this. We wish we did, okay? We would definitely do it for our children. The three, who say they were on a hiking trip, entered Iraq from Turkey on the 28th of July 2009. They claim they were trekking in Soleimani province's Ahmedawa area a few days later on the 31st of July. That's Iraqi Kurdistan. It's here that they were picked up by Iranian authorities. They were accused of crossing into Iran illegally and taken to Tehran's Evin prison. The meeting took place at a luxury hotel in Tehran and Iran says it has granted the women visas as an Islamic goodwill gesture. A gesture the mothers are hoping will lead to a homecoming. Ali Reza Ronaghi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.